So today let's talk about the Cerberus newest firmware, the V5.1 and the AD software, the V5. So firstly, you need to visit our uh, uh, website, the new SEFS.com and then uh, you go to the products page, the integrated effect and uh, enter to Cerberus. So after you uh, visit the products page, remember to click the support button here. Then you can find the menu download and the firmware download. So here, according to your uh, computer uh, operating system, so uh, you can download for Mac version or the Windows version. So here you could find the uh, firmware and uh, here is the AD software. But before you start to update, remember to check the Cerberus updates and updater software guide. So let's check it. So after I download, uh, I put everything here. Um, here is the Cerberus uh, Mac and here is the guy. So let's check the guy. Uh, so firstly, you need to connect uh, the Cerberus with your computer uh, use the USB cable and uh, uh, take off the power, hold the A and B full switch and repower again. So in the meantime, the Cerberus will enter to STA. So uh, the display shows STA. Then you could open the uh, DFU updater. So let's open the uh, updater here. So I could open it. Then uh, here, according to the updater, here you could see the device is connected. Uh, then you could choose the uh, firmware. So that's the firmware here. So I open it and I start to update. But uh, let's take a look at this again. Uh, the point 0.5. Please wait until the update installation completed. Do not turn off the servers or unplug the USB cable. So uh, you need to wait a little bit till the servers display shows SUC. So let's start the update. So according to the update, you will see the current status here. Uh, here you can see the current status. Uh, also the display will show you uh, the status but remember even the DFU uh, finish the update you still need to wait the device with the service display show you the SUC SUC means success so you need to wait a little bit okay so right now it's stay on 99 see Okay, right now it shows SUC. So right now it's finished. So let's quit uh, and then repower again. So right now uh, I could go to the edit software here and I could open it. Okay, good. So let's talk about uh, what's the new version uh, in the new firmware and edit software. So firstly, let's uh, start the dev site. Uh, firstly, we could see here, uh, for the reverb, we could replace the streamer into three of one, you know? So it means, uh, for me, for example, actually, I don't use the spring reverb so much. So I prefer to replace to streamer. So I, I replace streamer for my spring reverb. So actually this part, this section here, uh, it's for global setting. So it's changed for, for all the preset. You need to remember that. Okay, the second thing here, uh, after you finish the editing and you already store all the preset, you could also export your preset and share to your friend. So you could select uh, the single preset or any of them or select all. And for import, uh, you can also import the preset. So actually, uh, I already store uh, two here. So uh, I want to open it and then replace it and here. So I replace my 1B. So it's synchronized. So I want to uh, replace my 1C again. So here it is. Okay, so I uh, import the preset. 
and here you see the CFSP. CF means the current foot switch uh, in preset mode. So uh, in preset mode, if you uh, press the current foot switch, uh, you could enter to uh, the default setting is for edit mode. So for example, right now I go to the uh, preset mode and uh, Right now, the control switch is for edit. So while I press the preset is in one day, so if I press the A for switch, so I will enter to edit mode. So that's the default setting. And uh, uh, if I choose for uh, PVB, it means the post button boost. So uh, at the same time, if I press the A for switch, okay, actually I engage the PVB here. So you can see. I engage or disengage and uh, that's uh, the PVB post button booster is belong to the digital section so if you use the four cable method uh, you could uh, enhance the total volume and it's from the 0 dB to maximum 6 dB so maybe uh, for me I use 4 dB okay and uh, you could also use the current switch to engage the analog boost just like uh, previously, we released the uh, firmware v3.9. Uh, that's the main uh, function for firmware v3.9. Uh, so uh, I don't introduce it. So here, let's take a look at the tap tempo. So uh, if I choose tap tempo right now, I press the A full switch. So you can see the display is change the uh, tap tempo speed. And I could also set up as a remote. Uh, remote means you could um, use the current foot switch to send a, a MIDI CC signal. So here, uh, according to the MIDI chart, you could assign the remote with uh, your target uh, MIDI CC signal. And here, uh, you could uh, set up the service device as a which channel you want to accept the signal. Uh -huh. So uh, the OM, NI means the all channels. Okay. And here you can see the uh, ESP, the expression uh, port. Right now we develop, uh, you could use the TRS stereo foot switch to engage the analog boost or tap tempo or modulation effects or reverb so the T means the tip the R means the ring so you can use any unmatch unmatch full switch so even you use the regular mono TS full switch or use uh, TIS stereo full switch dual full switch so you can set up uh, while you play in preset mode so you can use the external full switch Engage, uh, maybe like a tap tempo or modulation effect or reverb effect. So I think it's quite efficient. Uh, also, I want to say thank you to the users because of your request. That's how we develop the new software, the new software. Okay. So uh, here is the global tap. So you can engage or disengage the default servers. Uh, tap tempo you could only uh, assign the speed for the delay section but the global tap it means uh, when you assign the, the tap tempo speed you could also send the, the speed to the modulation and the chorus so it will follow the speed and here uh, that's the impulse response part uh, so for this version actually we offer you eight slots so we offer you the Jazz Chorus 1, uh, 112 and Fender Deluxe Reverb 112 and uh, Fender Bassman 410, uh, Bass AC30 212, uh, Fender Twin Reverb 10, uh, 212 and uh, Marshall 1960 uh, 412 and uh, Greenback 412 and the Vintage 30 412. So, uh, Actually, if you want to uh, uh, use the third-party file, file, you just press the edit, and for the edit slot, uh, you could replace any of them. And the new feature for this part, uh, according to the different uh, impulse response, we offer you the uh, 
volume up so you could tweak from minus 6 uh, maxima to plus 6 so uh, let's take a look about uh, the preset <laughs> solid it means we engage the effect and if it's pushing so it means the current phase off for example right now I go to the uh, edit mode so if I choose this so it's just smart effect right now it's just the bypass right now it's just the boost right now it's just the reverse and you can see the uh, LED indicator uh, it's blinking and uh, let's go back to the preset so here is the preset mode huh so, uh, for example, if I set up it for the current full switch, if I set up into the editor, edit mode. So let's take a look here. Huh? Uh, so right now, I could know uh, which I choose. Uh -huh. So that's it. So if you have any question, please raise, uh, please leave your comment here. And then we will take a look.